Sunday morning and we are hungry. I had about two hours sleep last night so I'm feeling incredibly tired and I'm thinking today's probably going to be quite a long day. But I'm sure we'll all feel a bit better once we've had some breakfast. Uh, part of the uh, room charge here is a free breakfast. So Rich is stopping at the coffee, he's not going any further. But there's coffee. Let's have a look what's over here. So we've got some muffins and some bagels and some fruit. And then the pancake maker. And then hot food, I guess they're going to be replacing this. We've got potatoes and sausage patties. I'm guessing that one is egg. Oh no, scrambled egg and omelettes. And some cereal and some juices and milk and yogurt. Well, we're sat down so far. Breakfast has proved to be a bit of a disaster. Uh, Xander does have some milk and Rich has a coffee, but the pancake machine is empty. Um, half the food is all empty and there's one guy that's just filling everything up very very slowly the table was filthy I had to wipe that down um, I know the excuse is you know COVID everyone's had to change and, but there's no excuse for it it's it's quick to wipe down a table um, and it's easy enough to keep an eye on everything and make sure it's all topped up so we don't have any breakfast yet we're just waiting and hopefully they'll fill it all up and we'll get fed otherwise the free breakfast was a bust and we'll have to find somewhere to eat Xander's been waiting very patiently to use the pancake machine so what you do you pop, pop the plate there okay press okay all right let's see what's gonna happen can you see it Sandra, come on, get the way, baby. Oh, that's in the squished. Yeah. Is it squished? Can you see it? Oh, there's another one. I'm getting two pancakes. You're getting two pancakes. Sweet. Let's come over this end. Where is it? It's right there. going to come out the end. Keep the plate there. There we go. It's not bending. Is it supposed to bend? Yes. Oh, like it's doing now. Oh, okay. There you go. There's a pancake. The moment of truth. How are your Pancakes made with the, what are we calling the machine? Pancake pooper. The pancake pooper machine. <laughs> of course, it farts. It farts. It farts. Yeah. Well, it farts out pancakes, apparently. You're gross. You are so gross. So I'm feeling a little bit happier now. We obviously hit the breakfast at completely the wrong time. So they're, they're in the process of restocking. So I've had um, sausage and egg and a toasted English muffin. Um, I'm now toasting a bagel and I'm going to have bagel and cream cheese. Xander is on his second round of pancakes. These pancakes are huge. They're like twice the size of the last lot he just had. It'll be interesting to see if he actually eats them. Um, and Rich tucked into a sausage sandwich and egg and even had a banana so I went toast so with honey so we're taking we're taking full advantage um, so so yeah the breakfast has kind of redeemed itself a little bit we are all checked out got all our bags it was quite easy actually you can check out online um, but when you come down into the reception area there's a little bucket to put your key cards in and the dude there just asked for your room number I said do I need to check out online he said nope 
you're all checked out so that was easy just loading the car up it's a little bit cloudy a little bit sunny definitely a lot cooler here than it is at home um, <laughs> and uh, you can also feel the humidity in the air so it'll be an interesting few days I should think uh, going up into the mountains so we'll see we'll see what the temperature is going to be like once we get there we're finally off the I-10 we're on the 70? 70, US 70. US 70. We're in Las Cruces, New Mexico. And one thing that is very apparent is that we're not in the desert anymore. It's certainly a lot greener here than it is at home, which makes a really refreshing change. We've still got a couple of hours to go before we get to Pistachio Land, which is where we're off to now, yeah, to see to see the world's largest pistachio. This is where White Sands gets its name from. We have white sand dunes in the middle of the country. I think we're quite far away from the nearest beach. There is actually um, the national park here. You can go in and go and, I was going to say snowboard, but I'm guessing you would sandboard on the dunes. You can actually see behind these ones, there are white ones without anything on them. I'm wondering if once we get past here, we'll be able to see a bit better. I don't know. It's a bit difficult when you're in the car. Proper white. Yeah, proper white sands. Snowballs. There's lots more over there. If I can, um, if I get any better pictures, I'll film them. I had to put my camera away really quickly because we came up to a US Border Patrol checkpoint. I'm not sure they would look kindly at me filming didn't say no filming but actually at that point it wouldn't, wouldn't have been good we're um, driving towards more mountains now and we're trying to decide if this is haze or where there's lots of clouds yeah it's cloudy but we don't know if we're heading into some pretty awful weather or not this could be interesting Again, it might be a lot of nothing. This is the world's largest pistachio. Obviously, it's not a real pistachio, but it's up there with the big lobster in Shediac and the potato at the Idaho Potato Museum that we went to in Blackfoot, Idaho. But we're here now. It is weather that we're seeing coming in, so and we're actually heading in that direction. So that should be interesting. But we're going to have a look and see. They do do farm tours, but because of the weather, I'm not sure whether we're going to get a farm tour. And this is the vineyard for the winery. I believe they do wine tasting as well. But we're going to go in and we're going to have a look and we're going to see what's going on. They have ice cream, so these two are really excited. These are the tours that they do of the uh, Sasha orchards, weather permitting. So I'm really not sure we're going to have a, get, a go. So lots of famous people have been here. Daryl from The Walking Dead. Ozzy Osbourne. Larry the Cable Guy. Here for all the pistachios, roasted and salted, red chili, green chili, lemon lime, garlic, ranch and spicy ranch, bacon ranch, habanero limon. Oh, lots of different flavours, and then you can get all your garlic. pick your own. Let's see what's around the other side. Look at all these bags and bags of pistachios. Oh, pecan oil. Let's have a look around this side. All different flavour. Pistachios. 
garlic and honey, red chili, green chili. Just help yourself and get your own. Wow. Just been corrected, these are all tasters. So you get a little pot, like Rich is doing. I'm gonna have a go now. These are the garlic ones. What are they like? Mm, nice. Oh yeah, get that garlic in there. Oh gosh, yeah, you can taste the garlic. I don't think I could eat a bag of them. I have a little tub of garlic and honey that I'm going to try. Mm. Mm. I actually like those nicer. They're nicer than the um, garlic ones. I still don't know if I would buy them. Which ones you got there? Spicy ranch? No, no, I got garlic and spicy ranch. That was a spicy ranch one. There's so many different flavours. I don't know what to choose. Look at this, dark chocolate pistachio butter toffee. That's either really nice or not nice at all. Baby Bigfoot paw. Milk chocolate bear claw. I'm not sure I'd pay seven dollars for that. So we're going to start off the tour by talking about the world's largest pistachio. That's 30 feet of concrete and steel back there, built in honor of our founder, Mr. Tom McGinn. Tom led a very long, very productive life, but passed away back in 2007. Aww. There's a couple of you that wanted to play, so thank you for audience participation. Yeah. About a year after That's Tom's passing, his son Tim, my best friend of 40 years, was trying to think of some way to honor his dad, who had created all of this vast expanse. And Tim's childhood was littered with memories of being dragged across the country to go visit the world's largest boot or the world's largest ball of twine, and he figured that a roadside monument would be the easiest way to honor his dad. He's got 95 acres of trees and about 13,000 trees to my left in front of us and on the other side of the vineyard. Now the vineyard is what happens when your wine habit reaches epic proportions and someone comes up with the brilliant idea that instead of buying the wine, Hey, maybe we should make the wine, which is exactly think that's a good what idea? we did back in 1995. <laughs> From south to north. So you want all of your pollinators to be over here to spread all of their pollen this way. All right? You have three layers to it. You have a very thin skin or hull, H-U-L-L. -L. You've got the shell and then, of course, the goodie that's on the inside, which is what everybody wants. You've got the nut meat. Now, when pistachios first start showing up on the trees here, they're very tiny, black, and sticky. And that's how they capture the pollen being blown around the breeze from the male trees. Now, obviously, as you can see, they don't stay tiny and black and sticky. They get larger and change colors from black to purple. And you can still see some yeah. of the purple oh, right yeah. there. Mm -hmm. From purple to green, green to yellow, and when they are ready to come off of the tree, no kidding, they will turn a bright pink. <laughs> Mother Nature, the little neon sign that says, hey, we're ready, come get us. Yes. Now, it. <laughs> all right. Now I want you to take this. I have picked this off of the tree. Go ahead and take that. Now, go ahead and smell that. All right. Now, everybody thinks it smells like different things. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take that back from you. Wonderful. I'm gonna give it my wife is very much into these things called wallflowers from back. It smells like lavender. Lavender? Okay. What about you? Like tree sap. Like okay. <laughs> to me, it smells like a juniper or a cypress okay. or a It's pine very, tree. Sweet. Yeah, very sweet. Very sweet. <laughs> I, I, I apologize ahead of time for this very bad dad joke. All right. A pecan is a nut bearing tree. A pecan is a porta potty. <laughs> All right. Now I don't have that trademark yet, so you can go ahead and use that without fear of reprisals. Yes. Now pecans require a lot more water than us, since we're native to the Middle East. We require about a third as much water. 
but here in May, June, and July, we're going to water almost every day. So we're done with the pistachio tour, so now I'm going to have a go at some wine tasting. Look at all these corks. They have their own little bar here. I'm going to find out what the wine tasting is all about. But she's getting very excited over a Swiss Army knife. No idea what that is. They've got all sorts of gadgets and, ga ga gadgets and gazmos. <laughs> gadgets and gizmos. I haven't had any wine yet. Sorry. <laughs> I've just um, done some wine tasting at the Rihanna Blanca Winery. Uh, you get to taste four wines. I chose the Alamogordo Red, the Sangiovese, the Sweet Clarissa and the Outlaw Red. Um, I'm actually buying a bottle of the Alamogordo Red. It was really nice. The Sangiovese was very, very um, cherry flavoured. Uh, the sweet Carissa was far too sweet for me and the Alamo Red I just didn't enjoy the flavour but the Alamo Gordo Red I'm going to enjoy that with some cheese I think and a bottle I think is $14 yes. yep so it's $14 for a bottle which I think is pretty good value and I know exactly where the grapes were grown while I was tasting my wine these guys were getting What's this? Pistachio almond ice cream. Pistachio almond ice cream. And judging by the way you're chowing down on that, it tastes pretty good. Yeah. Look at the size of it. Turn it round. <laughs> it's huge. How much was that? Five bucks. That's not bad. Three scoops. And what did you get? Just a small cookie. Yeah, just just a tiny sample. Oh, okay. So, all in all, this has passed a couple of hours. If ever you're in Alamogordo, I'd recommend it. It's, uh, it's, it's a neat little uh, place to go. Just letting Rich eat his ice cream because I don't think you want to um, drive, drive and eat ice cream at the same time, certainly not in his new car. Um, I've got my bottle of wine that I'll be cracking into later on today. What I found really interesting is she said they're not as chilled as they should be and they're red wines. We always put our red wine in the fridge at home. Um, a lot of people would go, Ooh! but that's how we drink it. And as far as I'm concerned, wine is what you make it, whether you like it or you don't like it. It doesn't matter what the cost is or whether you drink it cold or warm or what. So we're gonna, well, I don't know. Xander's not eating his cookie. Are you okay? I know, but you, you've not even had a bite of it. Well, apparently he has had a bite of it, but. We're gonna let these guys finish their food and then we're gonna Maybe my cookie head on up into the hills and see what the weather does to us. We have arrived at our cabin and this is the view that has greeted us. This is it, Squaw Peak Retreat. And I've been given a code to get in the door. That's it, we're in. Wow, this is nice. Wow, so you come in, you've got this beautiful living area. Look at those views. That is spectacular. Plenty of space for me to do a puzzle because it's a bit wet out there. This is our kitchen. Looks fully equipped. Got everything we need here. I'm going to guess that there's a washer and dryer behind here. Yep, washer and dryer owner's pantry let's take a look it's far too big for just the three of us so we have a bedroom here let's come back out and this is the bedroom that Sander's interested in with the bunk beds and then I'm guessing this one is the master. Big 
because we've got a nice big king bed and a master bath. Let's have a look. Here we go. Nice shower, tub shower combination. Plenty of space. Let's go back through. Ironing ironing board. Ironing, ironing board. Rich is happy. <laughs> no, they're on themselves. And then this is the other bathroom. This is Xander's bathroom. I think he'll be happy with that. And then we've also got upstairs. Now this cabin was hand built by the owners. Which I think is pretty impressive. And up here we have a little loft area and there's more sleeping there as well. I think this place can sleep like 12 people. We're gonna get unpacked and I will see you later. Just check those views. Well as you can see I've done the quick tour of our cabin I think we're going to be pretty happy here for the next five days hopefully the weather will be a bit better for us we've uh, got the grill going we're just going to have some burgers tonight that's quick and easy and then probably sit with a glass of wine and enjoy that view so I'm going to end the vlog here thank you very much for following along today it's been a little bit of a different one do you want to do your things Xander? Don't forget to hit that. I don't want to do it today. <laughs> Just start again. You're fine. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and smash that like button. See you later. What he just said. Like this video, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Thank you very much. I'll see you.